Portland's historic The Black Lady Theater is now taking bookings. Host your next birthday party, concert, networking event, baby or bridal shower, wedding, art show, gala, corporate event, live stage play, audition, and so much more at the one and only The Black Lady Theater. Mention code GODCAST for 15% off your rental fee. Code good for the first time customers only. Valid for a limited time. Call 718-771-0900 to book your event today. Hey, today is Wednesday, August 14th. Make it today's math. Knowledge, culture, freedom, all being born to power refinement. That's right. When you have true knowledge of your culture, which is your way of life that frees the dumb, it empowers you. It gives you power and enables you to speak that truth, which refines all those that hear it. Peace to the gods and earths. Welcome back to the Not A Mean God cast of Lord Jamal. I'm Digga Digga. Uh, Godfrey is still away, but he will be back next week. He says yep. he will be back, and we'll be glad to have him. Uh, shout out to team You're Not A Mean in the motherfucking house. What up, y'all? Yep. Clap yourselves up. Uh-huh. Shout out to our live audience. Uh-huh. And we got our Black Lady Theater Summertime Youth Interns. That's what I'm calling them. Um... Yeah, they yes. they here helping us out, and we appreciate them every week since. Notice been Jamar here. hasn't Thank been y'all. smoking. Right, that's the only reason, you know, because you know. LJ, I love the childrens. I love the childrens. Well, first of all, I want to talk about that real quick. Mm-hmm. The term "kids and children." Can we bring this up real quick before we move on? Sure. Kids are baby goats that should be brought to the slaughter. Our children are not kids. We should not call our kids, our children, kids. Because symbolically, you're offering up for sacrifice. You see, in, 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 in the Bible, the lamb and all of that type of stuff was, was a sacrificial animal. In your mind, subconsciously, when you hear a word like kid, there's some funny shit going on. I like to discipline myself to call them children. Okay. Just some, you know, and you could say, oh, that's some bullshit, Lord Jamar. Or you could say, hmm, okay, whatever. It's up to you. But, uh, yeah, I like to call them children okay. and not kids. Pick niece. I hear you. Youth's them. Well, in my story, children is too long for the hashtag. So, <laughs> big a lot of kids. Child. We'll continue. Children's. We'll dig, find something. Dig a lot of children. You want a one a syllable. Kid. We need some, a new one syllable. Is that it? Yeah. To replace kids. Mm-hmm. We'll come up with it. Okay. In the meantime, in between time. All the shit that, all the foul, disgusting shit that come out your mouth and that's the hill you're trying to die on. I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> continue, man. In other news. In other news. Um. One of the most dangerous predators on our planet has struck again. I'm talking about young white men with guns. I mean, not that it's a good thing, but we're going to clap it up for, yes, they are one of the most dangerous predators out here. Young white men, well, I don't even know if it's young. It's just white men with guns. White men with guns have struck again in El Paso, Texas, and... Not just white men with guns, racist white men with guns. Well, a lot of times white, that's a white, given. White nationalists, if you, as I believe the term 
I'm yeah. going to tell you that racism is something that I believe is in the DNA of a lot of white people. And those that don't practice it are striving, are going against something that most of their people feel is natural. You're looking like you don't want to get into it. No, this, I'm, 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 no, I'm, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm okay, not okay. looking like anything. Um, when something is inherent, like there's inherent racism. And I think it's something that a lot of white people suffer from. A lot of them don't want to admit to it. Um, but they suffer from it. Just like we suffer from the inherited ill effects of racism. It's, it's learned behavior. I think it's a... You Not know. just learned, though. You see what I'm saying? Like, like, like... There's certain things like like a bird doesn't have to learn how to fly. It already knows. It's in its DNA. You don't have to learn how to breathe as no, a baby. I, well, when, I, when I say learn behavior, is be, I mean like you grow up in a household and you hear certain language and you witness certain, And you I'm know, saying they don't always have to way, go through ways that to and be in to, 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 if they had an ancestor that was racist, I'm saying they could grow up in a household where they never heard that shit and still it's, it could be in them and come out of them under certain circumstances. You dig what I'm saying? Like, like certain things go dormant, okay? We got a brother here who suffers from sickle cell. So he knows this is something that is passed on generationally, correct? Um, I, th I think it's learned. I mean, I I, I don't want to. I don't want to debate that nurture, right now. I, I definitely nurture. think it's learned. I think it's things. I don't think it's all learned. It's not all learned. Um, but yes, some of it is learned. Um, but I guarantee you, you're gonna have some of these. Go, oh, I grew up in a good household, and you know. They never heard that maybe necessarily growing up. They maybe they got exposed to it through the internet. No, the, the reason the reason why I say learned is because you can you can learn things without it necessarily being like think without thinking it's a negative. Like if you're a white kid and you go to school and you just read that and you, and you just learned all your life that black people were slaves in Africa, like Nobody necessarily had to teach you racism, but at some point in your head, you're just going to think of this race of people as inferior. Like, they come from slavery. You don't know anything else about them. Right. That's all that, you was, what, that's what, all what, you was what, taught what, about what, them. But a certain like, person I think, might hear that and feel compassion for these people. Why would me hearing it, that inherently make me feel like, oh, I want to oppress them but even I'm, more? But, but I'm, I'm, saying it's, I'm saying it's learned because, depend. I mean... You know that then that goes to like what's going on in your head and and other exactly. things exactly and other, what's going on other things in your going on in your household could be inherent inherent to your race. You see what I'm saying? And not just because you grew up around some racist parents or some racist or because you had racism right in your midst. You could have racism in your DNA. Is what I'm telling you. And a lot of these motherfuckers got that. And, and we can't discount that. Like this unordinate fear of black people that you see, especially by the police when they act like, you know, oh my God, don't move, don't move. I'm gonna, you know, like. I'm not discounting it. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this is being taught by the country that we live in in more ways than one. That's all I'm saying. In a way, it is. That's and all I'm, I'm saying, saying. It's partly that. And it's, it's, a, it's a lot of that. This shit is running through their blood. That racism is running through their blood. And maybe they're being put in a climate now where it's okay they to can let that bubble out. It's okay to have that, what I call, devil reflux. You see, like, sometimes you try to hold shit down, you know what I mean? But sometimes that shit, you just get that reflux. And they start to, you know, get that burning I, I feeling hear you. in their throat. 
and I call it devil's reflux. I just think as a five-year-old kid, you help, but as, as, some devil as, shit. as a five-year-old kid, you want to play in the sandbox with whoever the fuck is out there. Like you're not. It's only it's only Grandma Helen. Like stay away from them. Like I just think there are certain things that are inadvertently taught. Or they might be taught in a way that helps to unlock certain racial memories, unlock certain things that might be dormant already. You see what I'm saying? Before they even heard that is what I'm saying. It's a little bit of both, nature and nurture. But let's get into the fact that, yes, these were some racist fucking white men that the one in El Paso specifically went to where he was at because this was a border town, like what, four miles across the border of, from Mexico where, where Mexicans cross every day to do some of their shopping in American stores because they can't get certain shit you know, in America. So they, he knew it would be a high concentration of Mexicans in this certain place. And so this motherfucker went there, you know, Specifically to target Mexicans, yeah. and he felt like it's okay because he to to him Mexicans are trash. Cause our president gets on Twitter and the news every other day and and denounces uh, immigrants in every <laughs> every shape way possible. Right. So, and, and, and you know what I what was interesting, and and I and I mean from the moment that this happened, right, as soon as you heard. Uh, Trump speak on it. You know what's one of the first things he said? Mental illness. Mental Getting on a plane. Oh fucking illness. Yeah. If this would have been a black person or a Hispanic person uh, or a person uh, immigrant, of Middle Eastern uh, descent, guess what he would have called them? Animals. Animals. Terrorists. Mm -hmm. Fucking um scum or any kind of dehumanizing language mm -hmm. he could have used but i mean from the onset mm -hmm. when they knew that these was white men the initial language was mental illness mm -hmm. and that i mean that's racism in itself that's just, that's just the automatic go to of some shit like Okay, whenever it's us, we're going to frame it this way. Mm -hmm. When it's them, we're going to frame it this way. Mm -hmm. Like, how many times have you heard this guy call people animals and, mm -hmm. you know. Bad hombres. Remember bad hombres? <laughs> Y'all remember bad hombres during election time? Yeah, some bad hombres. <laughs> he did. Bad, but, bad hold hombres. up, but check it, check it. I did see over the weekend, I did hear him say white nationalists. Racist, yes. uh, you know, bigotry will not be tolerated in America. I'm like, what? Who are you? And what have you done with your? I think, I think somebody in the White House got in his ear, like, bro, you can't, you gotta, like, you gotta, like, speak on the elephant in the room. You can't, you can't keep tiptoeing around it. So he had to say those words, just, you know, just for good measure, but. Yeah, the first go-to automatically, mental illness. But see, that goes back to what I was saying. Now, how many times have we seen uh, 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 Muslims referred to as terror? Yeah, a hundred times. Terrorists, terrorists, war on terror, terrorists, terrorists, terrorists. The same and type of shit. And before you know it, before you know it, you see, you see somebody in hijab or with a head wrap on. You're, you, you know, you're. Inadvertently scared of him. Uh, what's the girl that got? Uh, what, what, what's the comedian that um, that caught the slack because she she said something slick on the plane about? Yeah, Jess Hilarious like came under fire because she made a comment. She got on the plane and there was some you know there was some Muslim men wrapped up and she made a comment like oh, oh. it's like that's what I mean by like learned behavior like it doesn't have to be you know like there are certain things that are just happening. Day to day, whether you realize it or not, that slowly but surely turns your way of thinking into a certain thing. But it's been happening since and now, you were a baby. Like, you've been assaulted with this type of shit since you were a baby. We all have. Black people, white people, every, we all have been assaulted with the propaganda mm -hmm. of 
you know, the countries that we live in, whatever fucking country right. you live in. You know what I mean? Like, if you grew up in another country, you best, you best believe you probably think that's the greatest fucking country in the world because that's the propaganda they gave within that country. You see what I'm saying? To, right. to build whatever kind of national pride and all this type of bullshit. Um, we happen to come up in America where so let me ask you this what do you think the kids like the the like the young like the young children toddlers that are growing up now hearing all this make america great again make america great again make her like what do you think they're gonna grow up thinking like they're gonna have to grow up and go to college or leave the nest and be around different races of people to be like wait a minute they, you know, these people was bugging. Like, no, blacks are cool. Asians are cool. Such is cool. But right now, all of them are growing up, learning, make it better, great again. It, 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 immigrants are, are criminals. Muslims are terrorists. Like, black people are animals. That's why the cops got to kill them. Like, that's all they growing up learning right now. I'm talking about everybody that's two, three, four, five, six right now. Right, but the people that was, that's teaching them this right now, their parents was the ones faking like they wasn't racist. So why are they teaching their kids racism? Why is who teaches the kids now teaching racism? Listen what I'm saying. You're saying it's learned behavior, right? So may, maybe I'm not these saying, kids right now. I'm not saying it's their parents teaching them. I'm saying it's the news. It's the internet. It's the world. Okay. It's, it's everything. Right, but what I'm saying is the people, right, that's right now. Previously, we had a hypocritical world that try to act like, oh no, we're all getting along and we're not racist. And you know, there was things that they wouldn't be said. They see them secretly, but white people were not saying these things out loud like they're saying them now. Like so, the, the civil rights era. So what are I'm we, saying are we trying is to like civil these people rights were era brought up, these people that are teaching racism now were brought up by people who, you know, acted like there was no racism. So, but, but yet it's still bubbled up in this next generation. See what I'm saying? When they might have not had nobody around them talking that shit. So what I'm saying is there's nature and there's nurture. And let's just not discount the nature part of it. Like it's in certain people's nature. It is our nature as black people to be God and be righteous. How about that? It's in our nature to do that. Mm -hmm. This man's nature is to be the mischief maker of the planet Earth. Okay. And all we got to do is look at his history and, and, and be like, facts. Big factoid. Because when you look at him and his history since he's been on this planet, all he's done, especially when he comes in contact with his original people, is cause mischief. Kill Murder, rape, pillage. That's what the fuck he does. Generation after generation. Even when he tries to be a peaceful motherfucker, he still reverts back to this. So I'm just saying it's not always, you know, this generation ain't start this shit. This, this generation ain't start. Trump ain't start all this I don't this think shit. this generation this started. Shit. I just think I just think it's ongoing because it's learned it's also learned. I mean it as, is as, also learned. It's, it's yes. learned generation after generation. Like we're just we're just taught that we're nothing. Right. Minority, because like, we're it, in a that we're in a country that is systematically faulty. So for us to keep thinking that we're going to be able to fix this shit when, again, the foundation that America rests upon is broken until we fix the foundation because that's it rests on racism. It's I mean, this, this, country was, racism. this country was built on racism. It was built it's, on racism. The White House the, is built by slaves. So how the fuck are we going to act like, you see what I'm saying? How would this not be ingrained every day in American society unless we well, that's, revamp that's what I'm saying the society. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm saying it's it's learned behavior generation right. after generation that's you just no, made no, no, my no, point no, no, no. <laughs> uh, uh, no? you're missing my point okay 
I'm no, I'm not missing it your is, point. It is I'm, learned you're, behavior. You're, you're, you're saying it's in their DNA. Right. I'm saying it's learned behavior. So maybe we're saying, saying both, maybe we're right. saying the same thing. I'm saying nature. You're saying nurture. Okay. And it's it's a little of both. That's okay. All. That's all. But <laughs> what I'm, we can agree okay. on. Okay. Because I'm not man, I'm not discounting what you're saying. Yeah. This man. If that's if, I didn't know if that's what you were thinking. I'm not. No, I'm not no, saying no. you're I, wrong. I agree it's my way. with you. Okay. No, I agree. And what I'm saying is the reason why it'll constantly be taught in this country is because this country rests on the foundation of racism. Facts. So, so it will always be that there. Facts. This this. Whether the, they try to hide it or the, not. No. The 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 premise of of America was built on coming here. Uh, pillage and plundering the Indians or the Africans that were already here if, you know, if we want to get into, like, who was where first and, you know, because that, that's also, now that we're older, you know, we're starting to learn that, oh, all of us didn't just get snatched from Africa. Like, we were everywhere. And, and, and so. I want to use a quote from Rest in Peace to the, to the new ancestor, Toni Morrison, um, who just passed away recently. Um... I saw her in an interview that they were just playing in a, in a clip, and she was talking about white people, basically, and she was saying, you know, until, until their neuroses basically stops, until they stop having to put people on their knees to make themselves feel tall, we're going to always have these type of problems. And that's what the white man tries to do. He needs to see other people on their knees in order for him to feel tall. Because in all actuality, he's not that tall. You see what I'm saying? If you really allow people to stand up and be who they truly are, this guy doesn't really measure up in a lot of areas. So this is why he feels he has to subjugate so many people and push them down so he can look like he's the exalted one. And that's one of the roots of racism, you know? Mm -hmm. Combined with, you know, uh, what our other ancestor, you know, Dr. Francis Crest Wilson taught us about genetic survival, mm -hmm. you know, which is going on right now which is why they're pushing things for them to procreate more and for us to procreate less. I think that abortion okay. law is going to backfire. I think that's going to backfire cuz even in even in like a lot of the rural areas where they're, you know, those states where they're trying to outlaw abortion, I I, I feel like Shaquita going to have like 10 kids on their ass. So, right. maybe, so right. you know, I don't know if, if that was the plan for that. Well, they're hoping that Shaquita, though, went to Planned Parenthood and is on the pill and that Shaquita gets an abortion. Or if she got fibroids. Mm. They're hoping a lot of stuff for Shaquita. You see what I'm saying? Um, yeah, but listen, man, we didn't even really get to the, what's the other one? Ohio. Oh, and now... Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. Um, something about that shooting that I don't think a lot of people realize, those victims were black. Outside of the shooter's sister and uh, I believe a, a friend that came with them. Now, this is weird because when, when I first heard this story, I was thinking, Lord, okay, his sister and a bunch of black folks. So she didn't probably got her some... Mm -hmm. Say some black dick. She got some uh -huh. black dick, and the brother just went off, right? Or a boyfriend just went off, or something. Somebody, something. Because that, he came up short. That was my first thinking. But now, now, you know, day after day, they're revealing more details. So apparently, the sister, her boyfriend, and his brother came to the neighborhood together. There's footage of him in this club, Ned Peppers. Um, hours prior to the shooting, so he was. You know that's a black. Court. So he was already in there. Now whether he casing the joint out or maybe he just tried to hang out, like I can't imagine what he was in there doing hours before. Maybe casing the joint, because as they said, the shooter in El Paso was came into Walmart first, 
cased it out like, oh, full of poppies. Similarities. Went, 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 you know, went back to the car, geared, suited up, and then came back. So this guy came to the club first. I saw the footage of them victims running into the, well, as soon as I heard the names, I'm like, oh, yeah, Saeed, yeah, he's black. Such and such brick house, yeah, he's black. Like, and I'm saying to myself, like, okay, they keep talking about racially motivated shooting for El Paso. Why are they not calling this one racially motivated? Like, was it just a bunch of black people at the wrong place at the wrong mm. time? Like, no, you went they to was a... at Peppers. You was at the Yeah, Peppers. you went to a black neighborhood now, and started busting. Now, listen, before we go to break and bring on our special guest, Tragedy Gaddafi, um, did you see the picture of both of these motherfuckers? Mm-hmm. What in kind? What in the clonery is going on out this motherfucker? Like, do these niggas look like fucking twins or some shit? Put the picture of both these niggas up, Jay Netta. These niggas look like fuck. Are they cloning niggas out here to go out here and like yeah. do some shit? Yeah. Because they showed another picture. I saw a third picture of another shooting nigga from somewhere else, and he kind of looked similar to these two niggas too. But these other two niggas like really. These white niggas look like these white they split niggas. Off, <laughs> like these niggas, they, they split niggas. off the same fucking egg or some shit. I mean, like serious. They ain't bullshit. They might, they might be make you know, cloning some race soldiers and just sending them out there. Hey, and they I, look like straight nerds. Too. I don't, I don't put nothing. It can't look like they can't fight a lick. A L- lick. Like I actually like see stuff like that. I don't put nothing past. Uh, you know, this country when mm-hmm. it comes to, to stuff like that. I you just never know. Oh my goodness, there was actually uh uh totally all off track, but there was just some footage of some, some cops coming under fire in I wanna say Texas again. Um two cops on a horse. Right. Arresting somebody. Go, on some sled yeah. pulling with a rope. Yeah, pulling them with a rope. I'm like what what are Trying we doing bring- here? Trying to reminisce, bring uh, visions of slavery. Now, now See, what? Now what see. happens? Now what happens when a kid watching the news sees that, and then he goes to school and keep hearing about and seeing these slave pictures and these black kids uh, or, or these black people that were slaves, born from Africa, like. As a child, if you keep seeing that and reading that, learning that in school, like now you're going to grow up and thinking you're the nicest person on the planet, but in your head, this race of people, is, it really is inferior. And, and that's, you know, that's the shit I'm talking about. Man, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back. Tragedy Gaddafi is going to be our special. Hey, let's bring it back to hip hop. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. White people is out on the loose. You can't need Godcast. (laughs) 